the Technische Universität Darmstadt unofficially Technical University of Darmstadt or Darmstadt University of Technology, commonly referred to as TU Darmstadt, is a research university in the city of Darmstadt, Germany. It was founded in 1877 and received the right to award doctorates in 1899. In 1882 it was the first university in the world to set up a chair in electrical engineering, and founded the first faculty for it in 1883. Nobel laureate Albert Einstein once recommended this university. One, two Darmstadt's alumni include two Nobel laureates and two Leibniz Prize winners. Two, two Darmstadt is a member of TU9, a network of the most notable German Technische Universitäten, universities of technology. Topic: History. On 10 October 1877 Louis IV, Grand Duke of Hesse, elevated the Polytechnische Schule to Technische Hochschule zu Darmstadt and thereby raised the status of this educational institution to that of a university so that the Abitur a school leaving certificate from German gymnasium schools qualifying for university admission or matriculation became a requirement for admissions. In 1899 the Technische Hochschule Darmstadt was granted the right to award doctorates. Early beginnings The university's history is varied. Its early phases began with the Hohere Guebschule Higher Trade School, which was founded in 1836 and received its own building near the Alters Pädagogue on Kapellplatz in 1844, followed by the Technische Schule Technical School in 1864 and the Grohertzoglich Hessische Polytechnische Schule in 1868. At that time, heated discussions were continually held in political circles on the issue as to whether such a poor state as the Grand Duchy of Hessen could afford a technically oriented higher educational institution, or even a polytechnic. After the foundation of Technische Hochschule Darmstadt in 1877, student numbers kept on being so low that in the years from 1881 to 1882 there were long debates in public about closing down the university. In this difficult situation, the local government and the university made the courageous decision to set up the first chair of electrical engineering worldwide. Thus the Faculty of Electrical Engineering came into being as the sixth faculty of the Technische Hochschule Darmstadt, which was a novelty in academia, because until then no other university had had such a faculty. This forward-looking higher education policy paved the way for Darmstadt to take up a leading position in the rapidly developing field of electrical engineering, which in turn led to a continuously rising number of students, so that the closure of the university never was demanded again. <laughs> First steps as a university In 1895 new buildings were opened in Hochschulstrasse, the Alters Hauptgebäude the old main building of the university and an institute building directly opposite. During the two decades before the World War I, all disciplines of the university underwent diversification and expansion. New disciplines such as paper making and cellulose chemistry were introduced, and as early as 1913 a chair of aeronautics and flight mechanics was set up. Meanwhile, the political climate had become stormier, and a growing political polarization exploded in Darmstadt over the question of foreign students. The Technische Hochschule Darmstadt had an extraordinarily large number of foreign students. In 1906, for instance, as many as three quarters of the electrical engineering students were from abroad, mainly from states of Eastern Europe. After the World War I there was an urgent need for reform of the education system at Technische Hochschule Darmstadt, which was seen as a prerequisite for meeting the requirements of a modern industrial society. Intense discussions were held on the aim of extending the curriculum beyond the purely technical education in order to prepare the engineer for his leading role in society. A concrete step in this direction was taken in 1924, when the general faculty, which until then had combined all the non-technical subjects, was divided into a department of mathematics and natural science and a department of cultural studies and political science. Moreover, the measures taken to provide students with knowledge outside their own field of study included the upgrading of economics and the creation of professorships in political science, history of technology and sociology. Topic. Restart after WW2 On the night of 11–12 September 1944, 80% of the city, including many of the university's buildings, were destroyed during a bomb attack. 
For a short period in 1945 parts of the TH Darmstadt may have been closed by decree of the Allies before it was reopened in 1946. The Electrical Engineering Department remained continuously functional, doing work under contract with the U.S. Army to build components of the V-2 guidance system. But we have to be careful how we word this production order because we don't want the Russians to know that we are cranking up the V-2 system." In spite of the difficult post-war situation, university staff and students alike managed to settle down to university work in the severely damaged buildings, which had to be used as a makeshift solution. As early as 1947, Technische Hochschule Darmstadt hosted the first International Congress für Ingenieurausbildung, International Congress on Engineering Education, at which the participants discussed the moral responsibility of the technical intelligentsia and of the scientific elite in politics and society. In view of the disastrous consequences of the war, the participants, with the exception of the Americans, who had already contracted with THD faculty to continue weapon development, committed themselves henceforth to do research and teaching in engineering and scientific disciplines solely for the peaceful development of mankind. 1. Technical science as ethical and cultural task. 2. Present state and tendencies of development in engineering education throughout the world. 3. Selection of students and social problems. The speech delivered by Dr. James R. Newman, Director of American Military Government of Hessen, however, made no mention of such a commitment, while stating that, an interchange of these past experience, together with ideas and methods of education along engineering lines, will aid greatly, not only in the reconstruction of battle torn countries, but also in the bringing about of a universal understanding and mutual respect, and the charity which have prevented the understanding, the tolerance, the respect, and the charity so necessary for the peace, happiness, and contentment that is the dream of every human being on this earth. The post-war period of reconstruction was largely based on a major development program in the 1960s, by means of which universities and the state reacted to the continuously rising numbers of students. Since almost no land was available in the city center for new construction projects, the decision was taken in 1963 to use the a former airfield on the outskirts of the city as a site for building extensions to the Technische Hochschule. Thus in the late 1960s and in the early 1970s numerous buildings, including a new student cafeteria, were erected there and ultimately became the university's second campus. <laughs> university reforms in the 1970s After 1968 the university reform, having been initiated by the student movement, was beginning to take shape both at a national and a regional level. It aimed at creating clear university structures and the involvement of all university members in decision-making processes. In 1970 the Hessisches Hochschulgesetz Higher Education Law of the Federal State of Hessen came into force. These gave Technische Hochschule Darmstadt, along with other Hessian universities, a new structure based on the introduction of a presidential statute and a unified administration as well as the subdivision of the university structure into departments. In the mid-1970s there was another rapid rise in student numbers. Staff development, however, lagged far behind, resulting in inevitable restrictions on admission imposed either by the central government or by the university. Regardless of the staff's heavy workload, the TH Darmstadt managed to set the course for the future, as evidenced by the School of Information Science, established in 1974, the Zentrum für Interdisziplinäre Technikforschung Center for Interdisciplinary Studies on Technology, founded in 1987, and the Department of Materials Science, established in 1989. This department has been housed in a new building on the Lichtwieser since 1996. Topic. Renaming By the end of the 20th century, Technische Hochschule Darmstadt had been granted the legal status of a university, and had been offering a correspondingly wide range of subjects, for over a hundred years. For these reasons, and also with the objective of sharpening public awareness of the university's status at home and abroad, Technische Hochschule Darmstadt was renamed Technische Universität Darmstadt which is also its official English name albeit often called Darmstadt University of Technology on 1 October 1997. This name change was partly prompted by misunderstandings that had occurred in English-speaking countries, where Technische Hochschule had often been mistakenly transliterated as technical high school, providing a totally misleading connotation. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Autonomy and Tud Law. On 1 January 2005 the first version of the TUD law applied making to Darmstadt the first German public university to be given administrative autonomy. New administrative structures were put into place, and their success is being evaluated. For instance, the university can now autonomously administer its budget and buildings. Also, the university can hire professors and negotiate their salaries by itself. Formerly this was done by the state of Hessen. The TUD law in its current state has legal force up to 31. December 2014. Campuses The university, with 140 buildings and an area of property of 600 acres square kilometers, is concentrated at the two campuses, Inner City and Lichtwieser. But individual facilities can be found in other parts of Darmstadt and in Griesheim, a neighboring town. Topic: <inaudible> Inner City Campus. This campus lies very central in Darmstadt and is easily reachable by tram and bus from every part of the city. The departments located here are Electrical Engineering and Information Technology 18, History and Social Sciences 2, Human Sciences 3, Computer Science 20, Mathematics 4, Physics 5, and Law and Economics 1. Topic: <laughs> Campus Lichtwieser. The Lichtwieser lies in the eastern part of Darmstadt. It is reachable by bus and a nearby train station. The departments located here are Architecture 15, Civil Engineering and Geodesy 13, Chemistry 7, Mechanical Engineering 16, and Materials and Earth Sciences 11. Topic: <laughs> Botanical Garden. The Botanical Garden of the 2 Darmstadt is located near the Lichtwieser campus and the Department of Biology 10 is located here as well. With additional buildings of the Department of the Materials and Earth Sciences 11 and parts of the Faculty of Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology of the Darmstadt University of Applied Sciences H it makes for an additional smaller campus. Griesheim <laughs> 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 Since 2005, 2 Darmstadt owns the August Euler Airfield for scientific purposes. It is named after its founder August Euler, a pioneer aviator. The airfield is not only used to start planes, but also to conduct research on topics where wide spaces are needed, for example driver assistance systems and automotive lighting are being tested here. Located near the airfield are the wind tunnels of 2 Darmstadt. Academic profile Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Departments and fields of study Typical for a university of technology, 10 out of its 13 academic departments are in engineering, natural sciences, and mathematics, while three departments are in the social sciences and the humanities. The departments with number of the department are Architecture 15 Civil and Environmental Engineering 13 Biology 10 Chemistry 7 Electrical Engineering and Information Technology 18 History and Social Sciences 2 Human Sciences 3 Computer Science 20 Mechanical Engineering 16 Materials and Earth Sciences 11 Mathematics 4 Physics 5 Law and Economics 1 In addition there are 5 fields of study Studienbereich which offer interdisciplinary degree courses in which students take lectures in multiple departments Computational Engineering Energy Science and Engineering Information Systems Engineering Mechanics Mechatronics altogether 2 Darmstadt offers about 100 courses of studies Beyond bachelor's and master's degrees, it also offers degree courses for teaching positions at German vocational schools and gymnasiums. Research 
Research is being carried in the departments as well as in six profile areas. Moreover, at the two Darmstadt there are several Sonderforschungsbereich SFB, collaborative research units as well as several Graduatenkollegs graduate schools, funded by Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft. The university has attracted a considerable number of national and international research institutions to the Wissenschaftsstadt Darmstadt, Darmstadt City of Science. Among them are GSI Helmholtz Center for Heavy Ion Research Fraunhofer Institute for Secure Information Technology SIT Fraunhofer Institute for Computer Graphics Research IGD Fraunhofer Institute for Structural Durability and System Reliability European Space Operations Center EUMETSAT, 2 Darmstadt collaborates with these research institutes on a broad basis. For instance, 2 Darmstadt and GSI agreed on a strategic partnership, which includes collaboration in the establishment of the FAIR facility for antiproton and ion research. With Fraunhofer SIT as well as Hochschule Darmstadt, 2 Darmstadt is partnering in the National Center for Research in Security and Privacy. 2 Darmstadt is involved in the German Excellence Initiative. This initiative sponsored the Cluster of Excellence Smart Interfaces 2007 to 2014, the Graduate School of Computational Engineering and the Graduate School of Excellence Energy Science and Engineering. 2 Darmstadt is also partially involved with the Cluster of Excellence Normative Orders, based at Goethe University Frankfurt. The Cybersecurity Center, Center for Research in Security and Privacy, will be the National Research Center for Applied Cybersecurity by 2019. Topic. Research profile 2 Darmstadt defines six profile areas which characterize its research profile Thermofluids and interfaces Future energy systems From material to product innovation Cybersecurity Internet and digitization Matter and radiation science Topic. International life With 18% 2017, the percentage of international students at the two Darmstadt is clearly higher than the average of German universities of 13% Two Darmstadt maintains partnership agreements with universities in 53 countries worldwide, which enable students to come to two Darmstadt and to go abroad within their course of studies. With Tongji University Shanghai, Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University, Blacksburg, Virginia, and Graz University of Technology, 2 Darmstadt has developed strategic partnerships. The university offers international English language master's programs and a broad range of double degree programs. The joint master program, International Cooperation in Urban Development, Mundus Urbano is offered together with Université Pierre Mendès France, International University of Catalonia, and Universita degli Studi di Roma Tor Vergata as part of the Erasmus Mundus program of the European Commission. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge transfer. 2 Darmstadt pursues multiple paths for knowledge and technology transfer. The university's startup center highest home of innovation, growth, entrepreneurship and technology management provides support for founders from the university, with a focus on digital and high-tech startups. In strategic alliances, the cooperation in research and transfer with large corporates is developed. Strategic partners of two Darmstadt are Siemens, Merck, Bosch, Continental AG, and Deutsche Bahn. For cooperation with small and medium-sized companies, 2 Darmstadt set up a structured collaboration with Hessen Metal, the regional association of the machinery, electronic and automotive industry. Research funds from industry were €37 million Euros in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Student life Activities 2 Darmstadt offers various recreational sports courses and operates three sports halls, a sports stadium including various fields, a swimming pool, and a fitness studio. There are manifold accredited student groups, ranging from the Formula SAE 2 Darmstadt Racing Team DART, Ackerflieg Darmstadt, and Chaos Computer Club to a theater group, an orchestra, and the campus radio Audiomax. 
The annual job fair Connectiva, which connects approximately 10,000 students with potential employers, is organized by volunteer students. Topic: Students representation. Students at TU Darmstadt are represented by the Students' Parliament, Parliament Stupa, which is elected annually and in turn elects the General Students' Committee Asta. The ASTA is the students' government and engages in university politics and provides social and economic counseling for students. Moreover, it runs the Café 60, 3 QM, 60.3 square meters a beer garden and a club in the Ducal Palace, a store for office supplies, and a bicycle garage. In addition to the regular university curriculum, students can attend various non-credit courses held by students and coordinated by the ASTA. Complementing the General Students Committee, which represents all students enrolled at TU Darmstadt, the students of each department Faschaft are represented by an elected Students' Council Students of the Faschaft participate in a number of committees of their department, such as the Department's Council which consists of professors, students, academic staff and administrative staff. Legends Since the 1970s, the fictitious student Fritz Filter passed numerous examinations at the Department of Architecture before graduating with a diploma degree in 2004. His thesis featured the design of the department building. Fritz Filter turned in multiple further architecture theses since then. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Housing. A survey determined that in summer semester 2009 students in Darmstadt paid an arithmetic mean of €321 Euros a month for rent, heat and utilities. With the German average being €281 Euros at the time, this made Darmstadt the sixth most expensive city for students in Germany. This value only includes students not living at home, not married and pursuing their first degree referred to as normal student in the survey. In this semester, on national average, 23.4% lived with their parents, 12.4% lived in a hall of residence, 1.6% were lodgers, 25.8% were sharing a flat with others, 17.2% were living alone, and 19.9% were sharing a flat with their partner. There are 2,512 beds in nine halls of residence offered by the state run student affairs organization Studierendenwerk Darmstadt for students of two Darmstadt and Darmstadt University of Applied Sciences. Topic. Reputation and ranking Topic. Research and teaching in a nationwide comparison Within Germany, the two Darmstadt in the overall assessment and its faculties in individual grades regularly occupy top positions in rankings. Three, the university is considered to be the best university for business informatics according to the Wirtschaftswoche Hochschulranking 2018, which asks human resources staff of small, medium, and large companies. Four. Topic: <laughs> Research and teaching in a global comparison. By QS Graduate Employability Rankings 2019, 2 Darmstadt is ranked 3rd in Germany, 22nd in Europe and at 78th place overall in the world. 5 Topic: Notable faculty and alumni. Mark Baldus, born 1967, physicist, expert in NMR spectroscopy. Gunter Benisch 1922 to 2010, architect, Olympic Stadium, Munich. Hans Peter Bohm, born 1928, chemist and a pioneer of graphene research. Kurt H. Debus, 1908 to 1983, rocket scientist and first Kennedy Space Center director. Mikhail Dolivo Dobrovolsky, 1862 to 1919, inventor of the three-phase electrical motor. Jose Luis Encarnacao, born 1941, computer scientist, inventor of the graphical kernel system. Christoph Franz, born 1960, chairman of Roche. Paul Friedlander, 1857 to 1923, chemist. Joseph Ganz, 1898 to 1967, Jewish automotive engineer, father of the original 
Volkswagen. Peter Grunberg, 1939 to 2018, physicist, discoverer of the giant magnet resistance effect, Nobel laureate 2007. Gerhard Hennig, born 1940, Olympic medal winner. Gerhard Hertzberg, 1904 to 1999, chemist, physicist and Nobel laureate 1971. Kurt Hohenemser 1906 to 2001, aerospace engineer and pioneer in helicopter design. Franz Joseph Kemper, born 1945, sociologist and track and field athlete. Karl Kupfmüller, 1897 to 1977, electrical engineer. L. Lisitsky, 1890 to 1941, architect and designer. Ernst May, 1886 to 1970, architect and city planner, New Frankfurt. Ernst Neufett 1900 to 1986 architect Gustav Niemann 1899 to 1982 mechanical engineer Fritz von Opel 1899 to 1971 rocket pioneer Karl Adam Petri 1926 to 2010 inventor of the Petri nets Karl Plagg 1897 to 1957 righteous among the nations William Praga 1903 to 1980 applied mathematician Wolfgang Roche born 1959 priest vicar general of Limburg Harold Rose born 1935 physicist laureate of the Wolf Prize in physics Bert Rarup born 1943 former chairman of the German Council of Economic Experts Frank Schimmelwenig born 1963 political scientist Bernhard Schlink, born 1944, former judge and writer, the reader. Ernst Schroeder, 1841 to 1902, mathematician. Gerhard M. Sessler, born 1931, electrical engineer and inventor of the electric microphone. Thomas Sieverts, born 1934, architect and urban planner. John Tu, born 1940, co-founder of Kingston Technology. Heim Weizmann, 1874 to 1952, chemist and first president of Israel. Rudolf Will, 1937 to 2017, mathematician. Johann Dietrich Warner, born 1954, civil engineer, director general of the European Space Agency. Hermann Zaff, 1918 to 2015, typeface designer, Palatino, Optima, Zapfino. Edwards International 1898 to 1941 chemist and discoverer of the Zint international phase Jovanka Boncic Katrinic 1897 to 1966 Serbian architect first woman engineer in Germany Topic notes and references Topic external links Official website